just out there pretty anyway, it's supposed to be played. He's, he meant on the field, he doesn't have time. Yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do you like best about this defense in general? Um, 10 days from playing. What do you, what do you like best about your game? Um, I, I like the one thing I noticed early in camp was the way we were running to the ball. Um, you know, like just our pursuit to the ball. And in years past, it was kind of feel like you know, we, we had to kind of coach that or to, to keep trying to embed that and you know, in our DNA. But now, it was like soon, as soon as the first day out there, everyone gets to the ball. You know, no, no one was loafing, and um, no, I, I think that's a big thing for me. I, I like the way we pursue the ball because you know, it's not always perfect. Some of them miss the tackle, some of them MA, and, but you know your effort can make up for it all, and that's a big thing I see for our defense. Jalen, what have you seen from guys when you guys are in a in a base, you know, four three, that third linebacker? What have you seen from those guys coming in, in that role? Uh, well, Kenny's been our, our Sam right now. Kenny Bynum, and, you know, he, he's done a great job at it. He's very reliable. And, Know, we know we're gonna get from him, and uh, you know I, I think he, he'll continue to hold down that position. But uh, you know, even base coming in there, and uh, Colton Jumper playing from Sam, uh, things like that. Uh, you no, know, we, we just want to have that trust in them, and you know, know that they're gonna do their job. It's you know, not always the most glorious position, but you know it's, it's vital. With with Darren Kirkland's development, does that free you up some more, to, where you're able to make some more plays and maybe be on the perimeter a little bit more? Um, I don't know about freeing me up, but. I mean, it allows my mind to be a little bit more free. I, I don't really have to check behind him and make sure he's doing things right. I, I trust him to do whatever he has to do, and I, you know, I can play my own game with, you know, without having to, you know, make sure he's doing everything right. Um, you know, he's he's dedicated to the game. He's a student of the game, and you know, he, he he's going to be a great player here. Uh, I, I always say I don't think he's anywhere near the ceiling. I don't really think people know what, what he's going to accomplish here yet. And, uh, you know, I think after this year, everyone will see you know what kind of player he is. With all the the vets y'all have there in that front seven especially. Is there more, without getting into specifics obviously, is there more y'all can do in terms of throwing different looks at people? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, no, I think we just have a lot of confidence in each other. And, uh, you know, we, we can talk to each other, we can get on each other. And, and you know, we've been, a lot of us have been here so long together that you know, we, don't, we don't get attacked, feel attacked by it or take it personal or anything. You know, we all know we have a job to do. And, uh, you know, we've been friends for two, three years here. And uh, I, I think that's, that's, that's something that's, that'll help us, just being able to communicate with each other and you know, hold each other to a high standard. When you look at, when you watch this defense on tape, you, know, you may not be able to recognize it while you're on the field. How, when you watch on tape, how different is this defense in front compared to your, when you're fresh by yourself? How different are those guys? Yeah, I think they're a lot deeper. Um, you know, there's not too big, not really a drop off from the ones, the twos, to even some threes. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's, that's something that helped them a lot, being able to stay fresh. You know, being able to get guys in there with somebody being to put a new body in there and, and not having a drop off. So that's, that's the thing that I've seen from them. That's kind of like the greatest improvement is the depth. Jalen, talk about Rashawn Galden. He's kind of been bounced around a little bit and obviously missed last year. What, what have you been in his ear about about this year and him having that position versatility and helping your defense out there? I think his versatility, you know, is a, a great thing for the defense. Um, I was talking to him short. Before I started camp, and I was telling him I need to see that old RG back out there. And, uh, you know, this time last year, every, everybody was talking about him, but you know, now that he missed a year, it seemed like kind of people are going away from that. But you know, he, he's still the same Rashawn Gall, and he's still out there. He's going to make plays every time he's on the field. Um, you know, he's a ball hog, and you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's going to do this year. Um, this guy, I, I trust him a lot, and uh, you know, I, I talk to him a lot on the field. Chief said uh, most of you guys will leg up. In that cornerback spot opposite Cam. You know, what does Martin need to kind of do to play a little bit more consistently? Um, I mean, I guess just saying, focusing on small details, but both those guys are pushing each other, bouncing back and forth every day. You know, no, I don't think either one of them would get down because one is up and one is down. Uh, you know, I, I think they push each other in, the, in that room. And, you know, it, it is hand out so, so what it's supposed to be is not about who we started, it's about you know, who's going to put us in the best, best position to win. Jalen, you've uh, sort of bounced around in practice at times, going to different position groups. Um, wh what's that been like to kind of see whatever, how everyone's practicing at their different positions? Um, well, I'm, I'm just always trying to learn, trying to be like, a, trying to be like a sponge. Uh, no, I'm, I, I really love the game of football, not just playing linebacker. So I just try to pick up little things from each position group, seeing what the coaches are teaching, you know, maybe try to transform it in my game somehow, or just, just to get a better understanding of football. So. Jalen, what's left on your checklist? What's at the top of the list between now and that first game against Appalachian State? Um, I mean, keep doing the same thing I've been doing, just coming out, keep preparing, um, you know, keep trying to minimize my mistakes and all, trying to stay ahead of the game, you know, keep 
you know, keep my, my mental focus up and you know, just keep trying to bring other guys along with me. So is it a is it a run up to the start of the season? Is, is camp passed quickly, or is this kind of like you can't wait for a week from Thursday to get here? Uh, it's probably more like I can't wait to be here. But uh, you know, I, I know it'll be here, and you know, once once it's, once it kicks off, it, it's going. You know, it's it's, it's pedal to the metal until December, you know, or until January. You know, you know that that's kind of got to be your mindset, and you got to be focused for prepared for it. You know, that, that, that stretch. Dan, what's the biggest change or adjustment you've seen in the way that the coach 